Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Creative Engineer. This is Rishabh Gupta, and today I'll be unboxing my Lego Mindstorms robotic set. You guys must have been seeing Charlie on my channel, right? Something like this robot. I've been doing a lot of cool stuff with it. Today I'll be showing how I made it step by step and all the process and all the parts that are inside the box. So let's begin. Now, before I start, I would request you all to please like and subscribe this channel if you love the content. This is a small step on your part which costs nothing but means a lot to me and motivates me to keep working towards growing this small space. So here is the Lego Mindstorm box and as you can see it is made for kids above the age of 10. Legally I am 24 and I am allowed to play with this. Jokes aside, uh, this is a really cool set and actually if you search for Lego Mindstorms, you'll find out that this is the gateway drug for robotics. Uh, a lot of uh, kids who get into Mindstorms in the earlier age, they get into big leagues of robotics and there are international competitions organized by Lego themselves for interesting builds and you can search it all over the YouTube and you'll find some amazing projects. Now this is the version 4. And truth be told, I really wanted to have it since the age of 10. Um, back then, the version 2 of uh, Mindstorm Robotics was out there, but it was only available by importing it through US. And being a kid, I didn't knew how to do that. So when LEGO announced this, after 7 years that they were refreshing this in 2020, I was all there to purchase the latest and greatest. And as you can see, there are five different kinds of automations or robots that I can build and each of these do really cool stuff but the most interesting part being this code and control so me being a python enthusiast I can code in python and just imagine with machine learning libraries what all can I do with these robots uh, the possibilities are endless and let's see what the future holds so let's move on to opening the box So here in the box, first we'll open the main brick or the logic control. So Lego has changed it over the years and uh, now it does not have a screen as you can see. Uh, let me put it down and take out the battery which runs this whole machine. Now let me connect both of these and make the brick ready to run. I'll press this button. Mm, seems like I have to press longer cool it's ready to run so yeah let's keep this aside and see what else we have in this box so here I take out a pair of motors let me show it to you so these motors help the robots to move this is how the Lego motor looks Let's keep it aside. Here is the color sensor. It allows the robots to see colors. So it is essentially the eye of the robots. And then we have this sound sonic sensor, which actually tells the distance accurate up to few centimeters. So these sensors are not useful until unless we have the skeleton parts that make the robots. So here I take out some parts. Then we have some more body parts. So Lego purposefully didn't mark these parts because they want you to have the experience and the joy of building these robots out of finding these parts correctly. Moving on, here we have a booklet with some stickers on it. They look really cool. I might use some of them. So yeah, uh, let's keep that aside too and see what else we have. I guess we have some more bigger parts with wheels for man, many of the RC robots which move like cars then we have some pinions which attach all these parts so basically these are like screws to Legos and some more bigger parts you get the picture so yeah no point in going ahead let's close this move on to 
what's next in this video. One nitpick that I have with Lego is that there are no compartments. Where should I keep my parts? So in true creative engineering spirits, I decided to make my own compartments. You might remember the old sheet that I used to cover my table with. If not, do check out the video. I used that and some cardboard to make some compartments and let's see how it worked. So finally a somewhat organized box this probably would help me build much more easily and what I want to actually build. Let's go to it. So here is the app on my iPad and as you can see it requires me to first connect the motors and sensors and first I need to configure them for proper use. So here's a time lapse of me trying to show you that after connecting and working through stuff I check each and every sensor through some of the pre-built exercises that have been built into the app. There is program which you can play with but yeah uh, let's go ahead. So finally here is a time lapse of me making Charlie. I start with his head and then I move to the torso which actually includes all the four motors combined together to make two of his arms move and two of the wheels at the base move. Uh, once the torso is ready then there are steps to actually make a connection between his head and the torso and to connect the motor sensors with the head. So in between the steps of building the robot the Lego app gives you some fun activities to do here I'm just making Charlie go crazy with the program that's available. This really builds up to the final steps and the final excitement of having the complete robot. Now moving to the final steps of giving Charlie his arms. This process involves creating his arms and his little claws with some rubberized fingers that actually help him hold the drum set that you might have seen in some of my shots so here's the process here are some activities in between and finally charlie is ready so let's meet him So that's it for my first full length video on LEGO Mindstorms. I hope you enjoyed the build. Do let me know what you want to see next in the LEGO Mindstorms ecosystem. Do you want to see the programming aspect of it or do you want to see the puzzle making components of LEGO? Whatever it is, do leave a comment down below. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.